Right, good morning everybody. Um, I'm just sitting down. Uh, the first thing I want to do, I've had a couple of comments from somebody who follows me on YouTube. There's no name on the account, but it's Courageous Spirit. If that's you, hello. I haven't deliberately not answered your comments. Um, I've just been really busy. I've uh, house renos going on. All my work was upstairs and it's just da, 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 da. Anyway, you wanted to know about these magazines. Well, first of all, you said that it's upside down for you. I can't do anything about that. You said record from behind you um, or something, which yeah, I get that, I understand that, and I've thought about that before. I've even tried to do that, but it just doesn't work for me and the space that I work in. So I apologize for that if it's upside down, but I like to think that it's clear and you can see. Now the link to these books, I don't really have one. These are called Little Thing Magazines, okay? And the Chinese. Now I used to be able to order them online in England from act the actual place. Um, but I, I searched and searched and searched and searched and I'm no longer able to do that. So what I had to do, and it was a right mission, was go on Etsy and look for Chinese magazine sellers, of which there are millions, um, but none of them seemed as if they'd work for me in terms of asking them to source this because of the language and etc, etc. And I managed to find a Japanese guy who sells magazines about everything apart from embroidery, like, I don't know, like computer games, Warcraft, da, 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 all those kind of things. So I asked him if he would be able to get these for me, would that be too big an ask for him? And he said no. So he managed to source them for me. So twice I've used him um, to get these for me. Off the top of my head, I can't remember who he is, but if you want to know, put it in the comments and I'll search back through my order history because I haven't bought any for months, a few months, so it'll be way back in my order history. But it's called Little Thing Magazine and it's published in China and you can't read it, the, I mean it's all in Chinese, but it's the imagery, it's the surface pattern, the design that I love and I think it works wonderfully on my design sheets and things, it's inspirational. So issue 32, now I don't know if you're in UK, China, whatever, sorry China, UK, USA, wherever you are, just as a measure, I ordered two lots of five of these. So five of these, including postage, came to about 57 English pounds. So that gives you an idea of the cost of them. I'm sorry I can't be any more helpful. There is an ISBN there, 1671-3054. Okay, that's the ISBN of this particular one. Um, so I hope that helps you. I apologise for the upside down. I really can't do anything about that. I've tried, trust me, I've tried. I, I don't have a very big space to work in. Um, so I'm sorry, that's all I can say. And I hope that helps you with the magazines. But as I say, message me or leave a comment on the YouTube video and I'll try and find you his Etsy shop, a link for his Etsy shop if you want him to get you some, okay? Um, I just said, uh, that's issue 32. I don't know how many issues there are, but I've got quite a few of them. Um, okay, hope that helps, right. So like I mentioned, I've had Renault going on. The house has been like an absolute bomb site, you wouldn't believe it. Um, so as of that was happening, because of this, I've only got a small house, and the work was happening downstairs next to the room where I keep all my embroidery stuff. So I packed it all away and put it all upstairs and I'm in the process of gradually bringing it down bit by bit and I'm finding things, not that I've forgotten about, but things that I feel I should give attention to. I'm absolutely overrun with samples. That is not a bad thing. To me, that's happiness. Happiness is a sample um, and anything embroidered. So I came across these. Okay, these are stitch paper. Okay, that one. And that one, okay, and that one, and this is woven ribbon, okay, with embroidery on top, and stitch paper again, um, and I do them just for pleasure, you might think, well why have you made all those samples, what's the point, well the point to me is love and adoration, I just love them, I just love them, and the fact that the samples doesn't bother me, I can't part with them, can't sell them, uh, keep them, nor they're there. They make my heart happy. That might sound a bit vomit inducing, but they do. They make my heart and soul very happy. And that's all I need. And then these were here as well. So these were mounted samples on gingham. 
that I mounted. I can't reach the camera just a minute. Right. That I mounted onto stitched papers. These are art papers that are stitched together. So I thought, right, I'm going to do that with those paper samples. So let me just put that, pick those up. So there's another one. Okay. And there's another one. So these are pages, the backgrounds are pages and the samples are attached to the top, just tied on, they'll be tied on. This is a patchwork that I started to make a single bed sized quilt, look at it, that's all I've done. It took me like the rest of my life, um, assuming I live to be 150. But anyway, so what I'm going to do today, I'm going to make, well not make, but I'm going to piece some papers for one of those paper samples. So I literally just get my art papers, okay, I don't know if you've got the best visual here. Just let me. I'm conscious of what that lady said and I appreciate it. And the thing is, with me, I always want to do my best, but in some situations, it's not possible. Um, right, let me see, I could do it sideways, okay. So I've torn some papers off rolls and what I do is I have, I think if you've watched a few of my videos, I'm sure I've mentioned this, I have two pin pillows, one for fabric pins and one for paper pins. So they're my fabric pins. Paper pins aren't special pins, they're just dressmaking pins that I only use on paper because it blunts them using it on paper and if you try to get one of these and put it in a bit of silk, it might damage the silk. So this is my paper pin, pin cushion. So I'll piece this together, I've already done it before I turn the camera on but I've put, bet you've forgotten where, how it all goes together. So if I lay one piece there and then I remembered that this was next and then I needed to meet it at the bottom. So that went, I think that went under there and that doesn't really meet at the top, but it doesn't matter massively. So I think that was that, okay. And then this bit of waxed green, which is beautiful. Like that, okay. And then this one. That one. And then I pin them together with my paper pins. And then I literally just hand stitch them together with what I call a stab stitch. But it's just like a... Is it visible on any of these? Possibly not. Right, maybe there. And um, just little over stitches just to join them. Horizontal ones. So if I just pin this together so that I don't have to figure it out again, because I'll forget. And what I normally do actually in this situation, I would take a photograph of it um, if I had to move it and take it apart. I would take a photograph. Um, so I'll pin it together and then lay one of those samples on top to make sure it's big enough. And then hopefully when this is all done, I mean, you might be aware that I'm doing this for a lot of samples with different things. I'm making a wrap as well for some other samples that I spoke about on video on here. Um, let me see, I might have to move that. Now, and the other thing about paper, you might think it's going to be really difficult to stitch that, and it is because my hand span isn't big enough to get across. But you can, it doesn't matter if you crease it because you can iron it. You can iron it. And I know it's got hand embroidery stitches on it that's joining it together, but that doesn't stress me out. It's not the same to me. Ironing this when it's finished, okay, it's not the same as ironing this. This would be ruined if I put an iron anywhere near it. But this, I'm not as precious with these paper pages. Um, so that's, no, that's the wrong way around because I don't like a cut edge. So I'm going to turn that that way so that it's not a cut edge. Much better. Much better. Really, really don't like a cut edge. Um, just a personal thing. There's no reason for that just me being me so all this is pinned together now don't, that'll be pinned secured there I don't need to put a pin there that's secured there so put one here like that and then I'll put one down here 
and then I'll get one of these samples and lay it on and make sure it's big enough. But I think it might not be big enough for this one. No, that, that one's a bit bigger, so it won't be any good for that one. I think this one. This is the one that I had originally on my ironing board, I think. No, again, that's too big because I don't want to hide all this that's going on underneath. And I can come back and make bigger pages for build there. So that works for me. So, and then that will literally just be tied on. I always tie things on. And then if you need to remove them, it's very easy. You just snip it at the back where it's tied. Okay. So that's what's going to happen with all this stuff. Uh, and I do hope, courageous spirit, that I have helped you a little bit with my explanations. Um, okay. So that's that. All right. Now, the, the other thing is, I'm loving the YouTube experience. I don't know why I haven't done it before. My subscribers have gone up massively. Fabulous. Love it. Great. But I can't be consistent at the minute because I've just... Still, I mean, even though the renovation's finished, it, it affects everything in the house. And I'm gradually working my way through all that. So I don't think I'll be back this weekend. Um, I really don't think I will. I will try, but I don't think it's going to be doable. So I don't think that I've disappeared. Or oh, she put videos on and I liked her videos. And then all of a sudden she never came back. That's not what my plan is. My plan is to definitely come back. Okay, I'll just start to stand up to turn this off. I'm too far away. Thank <laughs> you.